On the 21st of December, 1895, the Moresby left Cardiff. The ship was carrying a cargo of 1,778 tonnes of coal and was bound for Pisaguea in South America. There was a crew of 23, including the captain, Caleb Francis Coomber. The latter also had his wife, Edith Isabella, 29 years old, and their daughter, Ivy, two and a half years old, on the ship. On the 23rd of December, the ship ran into rough weather. Barker went below and brought up a plum pudding. Dividing the pudding between them, Barker said, Here, boys, this is the last plum pudding you will ever eat. All of us ate out share of the plum pudding, but in silence. Gregory did not speak, and everyone's mind was far away with the dear ones we left at home. But a few days before, it was indeed a sorrowful feast. At about 1pm, the Moresby followed the schooner, the Mary Sinclair, into Dungarvan Bay. The Mary Sinclair was also in difficulty at this point. The keeper, Ballancorty Lighthouse, had seen both ships in distress and saw that they were heading for shore at Clonee Beach. The Mary Sinclair ran aground on the beach, but the Moresby changed course. It steered towards the lighthouse and set anchor at 2.30 p.m about three quarter of a mile from the lighthouse. Around 4 p.m. the Ballinacorty lifeboat set out for the ship to ascertain if the crew wished to be taken off. None wished to do so. During the night the weather deteriorated and the Moresby sent out distress signals. At about 4.30 a.m. on the 24th of December the anchor broke and the ship went on its side. The captain and his wife and child, seven apprentices, the first and second mate and two others had to climb on the mizzen rigging. The remainder of the crew were forward. By 11am the mast had dropped closer to the water and as the crew saw no sign of a lifeboat coming to their rescue they decided to swim for shore. Around midday the Ballinacorty lifeboat, manned by a volunteer crew from Dungarvan, set out to rescue the remaining crew, most of whom were in the sea. One of the survivors, Henry Blunt, described the situation. I cannot tell you how anxiously we waited for the lifeboat, expecting to see it every minute, but still there was no sign of it. To add to the perlunus of the situation, the ship gave unmistakable evidence of breaking up, and then, we, it was everyone for himself. The little child was placed on the captain's back. The captain jumped into the seething ocean, followed by the mate, who was accompanied by the captain's wife. Alan Baker followed the captain. Blunt, Gregory and Mitch jumped together, however, there was an ebb tide which swept them away from the coast. The Moresby was wrecked in Dungarvan Harbour on the 24th of December, 1895. 20 out of the 25 crew and passengers were drowned. On Saturday evening, the body of the dear little girl, Ivy Neesham Coomber, was brought to Dungarvan and her little coffin was laid in the parochial schoolroom. She was born on board the Lady Lawrence of the River Plate, South America. The following morning, loving hands removed from her all traces of sand, arrayed her in white robes and placed an ivy wreath at her feet and the text, Thy will be done, at her head. During the day, hundreds of people visited the schoolroom and not one looked at her unmoved. She was interred on Monday evening in the same grave as her parents. The small coffin covered with flowers was carried by four young lads. This service was jointly conducted by Reverend Baines and Haskins. Since then, 
little Ivy's bonnet has been washed ashore, also one of her shoes. Welcome back. So this is just a quick video of um, my return back to the Moresby disaster mass grave in Dungarvan. And I'm coming back today just to leave a little gift on the grave for all the victims and little Ivy. Hi guys, so I'm back at the mass grave here in Dungarvan at the Moresby disaster. And I came back today to leave a little gift for all the victims of th this tragedy. And also leave a little gift for Ivy. So I'm going to leave this little angel on the grave for Ivy. 
than anybody that died in the disaster. Rest in peace to all the victims. Rest in peace, little Ivy. Thank you.